Hey everyone, it's Argle Fump. This is the schedule for my book review channel for March 2024. I'm going to start with uh, Nancy Drew Files number 89 and 90. So this was a really good one where Nancy goes to New York and it's one of those books where you like have multiple culprits. Uh, hopefully that's not too much of a spoiler. Much better than book number 90, which is just basic sabotage mystery at a theater and really obvious culprits. Then, uh, Baby Service Club. I'm almost done with the Baby Service Club. I can't believe it. So, here's my review for the Super Special Series. Uh, it's probably going to be negative, because I didn't like the Super Special Series very much. And here's my overall review for the Mystery Series, which I think did have some problems, but I probably liked it better uh, than the Super Specials. Those are both going up on the, the 9th. On the 12th, I am doing uh, Warriors Rides of Scourge. This is the first and probably only time where I'm doing a book review on the day the book is being released. So it's very timely. Uh, they, they're re-releasing the book in full color. So that's going up the day the re-releases. Oh, it's so cool. And I needed something else to post that day. So I, I did a book from last year, Lost Legends, The Fixer Upper, which is a prequel story about Kristoff and Frozen, which is very much based on one of the graphic novels that I've previously reviewed. Then uh, more American Girl Kit books. Full Speed Ahead, My Journey with Kit is a choose your own adventure book uh, where you go back in time and you get to meet Kit. Really Truly Ruthie is sort of like a sequel to the Kit series, although it takes place uh, in between books three and four, I believe, and Ruthie is the main character, not Kit. I thought this one was really good. I liked it the next two Nancy Drew Files books. Uh, if looks could kill, Nancy goes to this very fancy spa where somebody is trying to murder the owner. And uh, my deadly Valentine, Nancy goes to Ned's college and uh, it's Valentine's Day and somebody tries to kill the girl who just won Sweetheart. Uh, actually, the person is trying to destroy the entire sorority. So Nancy needs to figure out the mystery. And then on the 21st, we have the next two Baby Series Club books. Abby in Wonderland. I seem to recall this book was really, really terrible. And then Christy in Charge. I don't remember anything at all about this book, except it was super duper hard for me to get a copy. Like, over two months of waiting in order to get a copy. I don't know why this particular book was so rare. Uh, then on the 24th, uh, The Man Who Knew Too Much, which is uh, a 1922 collection of mystery short stories by G.K. Chesterton. And then Class of 86, which is a book written by a, a YouTuber named uh, The Cinema Snob. So it, it's kind of a long review because I did an imitation of The Cinema Snob just throughout the entire thing. I don't know if anybody's going to find it amusing, but that's what I did. <laughs> uh, on the 27th, I'm going to read Moby Dick. Fortunately, I got permission to read an abridged version of Moby Dick instead of reading this 700, 800 page novel. Oh, thank goodness. And uh, on the 30th, I'm going to be uh, switching over from the Hannah Swenson series because I've read all the Hannah Swenson books to uh, the Mom Zone series or Ellie Avery series as it's also called. I've got the first book, Moving is Murder. I haven't read it yet. Hopefully it's really good. So that review will go up on the 20th, along with my trailer for One Minute Mysteries 2, which is the new book, my newest book. I wrote the book, and so you're going to get to see a trailer for my new book. Here are all the books I reviewed last month, February. Uh, Wings of Fire, number six, uh, graphic novel number six, and then graphic novel number seven. So the graphic novel series is only up to book seven. So now I'm caught up with the graphic novel series. Oh, read a ton of Bad Guys books. Uh, bad Guys number 5 through 12. I did reviews for all of them. They are pretty short. Uh, at, at least the first um, nine or so books are really, really short. And I felt some of them were filler. Like, this book really felt like filler. And kind of so did this book. Uh, oh, this book was definitely filler. But then they started to wrap up the, the storyline with book eight, where our heroes get superpowers and they meet an awesome group of female superheroes. Uh, this book was really good, too, where uh, Wolf becomes super... He just becomes a giant monster and starts destroying the city. And then book number 10 is the one where they defeat the evil villain, the evil alien villain, and save the world. Uh, that's why I did uh, a, a video, which is 
my reviews for the first 10 books because the first 10 books form an own, form their own storyline. We get a brand new storyline uh, with uh, book number 11. I also read uh, Bluey Christmas Eve with Veranda Santa. I, you know, this book took me forever to find too. It was two months of waiting for this book at the library before it actually came in. And, and so I reviewed it. Other books I read, uh, Wish the Graphic Novel, I did this review mainly to show off the fact that I have an official jacket for the movie Wish. So, hey, you get to see me wear the cool jacket. I finished the fourth National Treasure book, so now I'm done with the National Treasure book series. Started a Disney Fun to Learn Library series. I read the first, like, six books of that series. It's okay. You can tell it was written for, like, an audience which had a much longer re attention span than kids do these days. Uh, I also did uh, Batman versus the Fearsome Foursome, and I, I, I did that in an imitation of the 1960s Batman uh, TV show. I don't know if anybody's going to be super amused by that, but it amused me, and that's why it, it was actually a pretty long uh, review to do. Actually, it's not that long. It's only eight minutes. Still took forever to do. And uh, Creepers. So... The Dollar Tree got a bunch of Creepers books, so uh, it, it's cheap. It was just a dollar twenty-five. It's a British series, which is a knockoff of Goosebumps. They're okay, not very good. You can obviously tell none of them were edited at all, and uh, you can tell some of them were written just by amateur writers instead of professional writers. Like this one was really terrible. Uh, Stage fright was really good. It is spooky. Uh, this one was good. It had a good premise and then completely ruined the premise. So it, it wasn't good, actually. Uh, more Disney fun to learn ones. Uh, Golden Goblet. This was weird. It could have been really scary, but it was more of a comedy. It was a comedy about Scottish ghosts. And it was actually ended up being pretty interesting and fun. Not scary, though. And uh, number five, Ghost Rider. Was okay. I it, it repeats like the same nightmare sequence over and over and over again, which actually was pretty good. The rest of it is terrible. There's a lot of scenes of the kids getting up and eating breakfast. We don't need to hear every single meal these kids have, and yet the author thinks we do. And so it, it, it's it overall kind of balances out. So the Dollar Tree just got uh, five more books in the Creeper series. I just bought them yesterday. So I'll I'll guess I'm gonna have to keep reviewing the Creepers books because uh, they're uh, relatively cheap. I read uh, Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, Witch, and a Wardrobe to my kid. Uh, and uh, I, long review, 20 minutes of me just talking, trying to say everything about the book and all my thoughts. Uh, I did get the next book in the series, which is The Magician's Nephew. And no, that's not the next book in the series, but my kid saw that Magician's Nephew was number one, and so she wanted me to read uh, that book next. Um, Magic Treehouse number nine, Dolphins at Daybreak, perfectly fine. Magic Treehouse book. I did read The Mark of Zorro, and I did a poll here on my YouTube channel asking, hey, what is the book cover that I should use for my review? And people wanted this one. This is the first uh, Zorro book. It's okay. Uh, because it's the first book, it's uh, different from most Zorro stories because it assumes you don't know who Zorro is. So it's a big surprise at the end when it's revealed who Zorro is. But if you've seen the movies or the TV shows, then you do know who Zorro is, and it's not a surprise. Also, a big, like, love triangle, technically a love square, because we have three men that are courting Senorita Lolita Polito. And it ends with a big, exciting ending where Zorro kills his main rival, uh, he reveals his identity, he stops the evil governor, and he runs off into the sunset to get married to the love of his life. And it is a very heroic ending. And, uh... <laughs> I, I'm wondering what the second book does, because I think the second book has to backtrack it a little bit, because Zoro can't retire. He has to come back in the second book. Uh, other than that, I did some writing for uh, the superhero game. I'm still working on Pathway number three, which I don't think I've talked about. It's about uh, a blue alien shapeshifter. So she's an alien from planet Pluto. She's blue. She can turn into anything that's blue. And I thought that was a really funny premise, but actually writing uh, the pathway, I'm like, I can't really think of any good jokes to do with a blue alien shapeshifter. So if you have any uh, good ideas, let me know. I, I might be able to fit it in uh, into the last chapter of that storyline. 
Uh, also, next month is going to be uh, Autism Acceptance Month. So if you have any suggestions for like a good book or something for me to read for uh, next month, let me know so I can read it this month and get the review posted next month. I'll also post about that uh, on uh, my channel. So thank you for watching. Uh, these, uh, this is the schedule and all the various books uh, I did in February 2024, March 2024. Sorry, I accidentally said February 1st, even though March is in the title of the video. So I had I had to immediately follow that up with, with March, because February is right here. That's why I said February. But no, 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 this is the March video.